Today we're going to be taking a quick look at gmail.com and all the fun things Google has to offer. So the first step is to go to gmail.com and then on the upper right hand side you have multiple options. You can sign in or you can create an account. If you don't already have a Google or a Gmail account, feel free to click on create an account and then it's a pretty simple process. First name, last name, username, and password and then you'll just hit next a couple of times. If you already have an account, you'll just go to sign in, which is in the top right hand corner, and you will input your information. This is not my full Gmail account, so we will be seeing a small selection of emails. All right, so as Gmail loads in, you'll see this is the main viewing part for Gmail. And it looks pretty basic. So this is the general layout. There are many different ways you can customize this layout. For the first step, you can go to inbox, which is in the top left hand corner. And if you hover over it, there will be a little downward pointing arrow. Here, you can choose your inbox type. Right now we have it set to default, but there are different other options that you can try out and see what you like best. Generally, the two options I recommend are either default or priority inbox. What priority inbox does is it tries to split up your Gmail inbox into important and unread messages at the top, then starred messages, and then everything else. So. If you have important and unread messages, but you don't want to deal with them right now, you can click there on the import and unread box and it will hide them. Same thing with starred and same thing with everything else. So you can kind of choose what you specifically want to see. Now I'll go back and set it to default because that's my preferred. Another thing you can do is if you go to the gear icon, which is in the top right hand side, you can then go to configure inbox. Uh, this is for the default setup and you can select the tabs. If you look at the top of the screen, I have primary, social, promotions, updates, and forums all selected. Now, what this does is it basically has Google try and figure out what mail should go where. So your social tab would be things like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and that will kind of keep that separate from the rest of your inbox. Same thing with promotions. These are things that are gonna be like a Best Buy advertisement, or if you sign up for an email list that has something to sell you. Updates, Google will try to automatically show things that you've ordered. So um, if I buy something on Amazon, this is where it would show up. And then forums, um, I don't have any forums on this account, but Basically, if you have an online group or a discussion forum, that's where, the, that's where uh, those will show up. Uh, you can always disable this into just one big inbox if you want. Another thing you can do is in settings, we can go to click on the gear icon and go to settings. And we can change some of the categories in the inbox tab. So as you can see, inbox type, we had the same option whenever we hovered over inbox. Uh, we have the categories. If we switch this to priority inbox for inbox type, now we have the inbox sections that we can individually select. We can also enable the reading pane uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. So if you're familiar with Outlook, some people really like the inbox pane, or some people really like the preview pane. And if we go to the upper right hand corner, we now see this icon. If we click on it, we can then toggle if we see a preview of an email before we read it. And we can turn that off. Uh, another thing you can do is if you go to settings, uh, then you can go to themes, uh, and you can pick your theme. These generally will change the background 
and they can also change how information is displayed in terms of color. So you can scroll up and down and click on an image, or you can click on, for example, Google has a dark theme, which some people like. Uh, it's sometimes better on the eyes at nighttime, but I prefer the default. So default and save. The other option I like is the high contrast option, which kind of just gives everything a box around it. And hit save, and now you've changed your theme. Thank you.